around 70% of all cards are abandoned, that's why this video show you how to recover most of your abandoned cards so that you make way more profitable purchases. So this is the exact structure I use for all my clients. And one more thing, if you're using Klaviyo, by default you won't have added to cart trigger, you need to install custom snippet code, but it won't take you less than 10 minutes, especially if you follow my step-by-step -step tutorial that was gonna show you how to do it very very easily. But once you have this event set up, uh, you need this flow. So first of all, um, usually I create this flow which is 4 emails long. In some cases I will make it longer, like 5 emails long, but I, I will never make it longer than 5 emails because it doesn't make sense from the customer journey perspective. Let's say that you are shopping for, I don't know, uh, like new clothes, you add some products to cart that you like and then you leave the cart. Like you don't want to be targeted with emails for longer than like 4 or 5 days. That's why uh, I never recommend making this flow longer than 5 emails because 5 is completely fine to solve all the customer objections and actually cover the purchase. So first things first, for the trigger I always like to split test. Actually when I set up the flow the first thing I A-B test is the time delay for the first email in this flow. That's because usually this is, this is the A-B test that drives the highest impact on the revenue. So all I like to do is I like to start with different uh, triggers, time delays. Usually I A-B test between 30 minutes and 2 hours and then uh, between the winner and 1 hour. But you can also use these guidelines for your AOV. So if your AOV is way lower, like below 100 bucks, uh, people are making like impulse purchases, they don't really need that much convincing. It's just like instant buy, uh, pretty much. That's why you wanna go 30 minutes, which is completely fine. But on the other hand, if you have, if you sell higher AOV items, you wanna try like two hours. Um, I wouldn't recommend anything longer than two hours. But again, if your customers really need time to you know do their research and think about it, and maybe you have a lot of blog articles that they wanna go through, you can try and make it like four hours time delay after their product to cart uh, and without buy and don't end up buying it. The content within the first email is just reminding them about the card. Again, we don't want to shred your margins. That's why the first thing you do is just remind them like, hey, you left your card, but no worries, we saved it for you. Just click here and recover it. Usually this email itself, without any discount or server, is still gonna have the highest conversion rate, just mainly because like what how people are, uh, like we forget about this stuff, you know, we get distracted very, very easily, our attention span is short, so you wanna remind them about the product and the email itself will work well. So then the email number one, uh, and as you can see, like the time delay for each of them is one day. Uh, I don't think it makes sense to make it longer unless you sell really high AOV, like 1K plus whatsoever. But on, in all the other cases, I will just make it one day after each email, completely fine. So the content for email number two is just giving people an incentive and talking about your OSP, what makes you different. So if someone didn't buy right away, you know, after visiting your website and receiving the first email, Probably you need to convince them um, and price just the most common objection out of all. So by giving them an incentive like a discount code, you'll just convince them to buy right away. That's why I recommend you do it in the second email. Then you can talk about your USP, so what makes you different, why someone should buy from you rather than from the competitor. Um, definitely tell them about it because they don't know it, so we have to make them aware of that. Uh, so then they convert. Yeah, very quickly. So if you're running an e-commerce store and you want to profitably scale it without spending more money on ads by using email and SMS, go to ventimail.com and book a call. I'll also leave a link in the description down below this video so you can click it and go there. But go there, book a call and they'll help you scale using email and SMS. We'll take over everything email related. So we'll come up with strategy, we'll take over your copywriting, design, sign up form, flows, campaigns, segmentation, deliverability, anything you can think of. So we'll be seeing every single month anywhere between 30 to 50% of your total revenue coming from Clavio. So go to ventimail.com and book a call. Then the email number three, uh, again, like showing social proof, reviews, testimonials, success stories, case studies, uh, anything that is really appealing and that's actually showing people like, hey, we know, you know I mean, don't say it like literally, like you don't trust us, but the thing is that they don't trust you. So they're thinking like, okay, does it work? Like, is it actually gonna solve my problem? I don't know if it's, if it's company is legit. That's why you have to show them. And by showing the amount of reviews, uh, testimonials and success stories you have, you're gonna remove this objection. So ideally, if you sell like high, a product that solves an like, acute problem, but really, really, it's really painful uh, and your product solves that, then you wanna tell them, a lot, show them a lot of success stories. And ideally, 
uh, the format that works exceptionally well is how X went from Y to Z in T time frame. So how John went from being uh, overweight to you know losing 10 pounds in just one week or whatever, just an example. But by showing that, you're showing the state before using your product, after using your product, and how much time is needed to actually see the results, plus by inserting the name, uh, which in this example was John, you're showing the social proof that it actually works for people and it's not like made up. Uh, and actually make sure it's not made up, because if you make it up, then uh, you know it's not the best for you. But again, like if you have really success stories, show them. If you have a video, uh, redirect them to the page with video or like to page with reviews. Uh, we have a bunch of you know videos that people talk about how your product saved their life or just how they like it, right? And then the last thing, number four, um, is just strictly urgency and the last incentive reminder. So what people tend to do is like once you give them an incentive, like a discount, they're like, yeah, I'll buy it later on, whatever, it's still gonna be there. Prove them wrong, uh, it's not gonna be there. You have to buy now or your card expires. And if you have something like, you know, real urgency in terms of low in stock or anything like that, uh, make sure you inform customers about it because they don't know it. Uh, and like from what I found, Usually, uh, the actual low in stock info works better than giving them even an incentive, uh, especially instead of campaigns where something is low in stock uh, or on the other hand, back in stock for example, your best sellers, it works better than giving a discount. That's why the urgency is so powerful uh, and that's why I recommend you do it. Now, if you would like to make it this flow longer, I just have to you know change the content a little bit. So if I have a flow that is five images long, about not card flow specifically, I would remove giving an incentive in email number two, and then I would give an incentive in email number three, which would be strictly giving an incentive like hot potato. So for the email number two, you would leave, uh, you know, talking about your USP and what makes you different, but you would remove the, the incentive, the discount code, and the email number three would be a discount code uh, announcement, but like strictly super quick, like, hey, we sorry left your card, you know, here's 10% off shop now, that's it. Uh, don't make it too long because people don't like reading uh, a bunch of stuff. Especially when like the purpose of the email is to give the discount. So yeah, uh, that's the exact structure I use. Uh, it's getting high open rates, high click rates, and high conversion rate, which is the most important thing. Uh, just like the revenue, right, you get from those flows. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. Other than that, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe it, and check out my other Clavio guides. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.